our uh, task is to evaluate the quotient of the difference of f of x plus h minus f of x and we're going to do it for two different functions. So let's start with a. And first step we'll write down f of x and its identity 3x minus 7. Next step let's build the function f of x plus h. So f of whatever we'll for the moment leave this area between the parentheses blank and uh, we'll replace the variable x or whatever the variable happens to be uh, with parentheses. Now you know as, a, as functions work whatever we put in this set of parentheses we put in this set of parentheses. So we'll install an x plus h here and thus we must install an x plus h here. Next step, let's expand this. So we get 3x plus 3h minus 7 and that is f of x plus h. Now we have f of x plus h minus f of x all over h and that equals and in the place in place of f of x plus h we'll install its identity 3x plus 3h minus 7 minus that minus corresponds to this minus right here. Now we'll install parentheses by the way, we're dividing by h. Inside these parentheses, we'll put f of x, or its identity, which is 3x minus 7. Now, those parentheses are terribly important. It remi they remind us that we must distribute that negative. So, let's do that. So, we have 3x plus 3h minus 7. Now distributing the negative we get negative 3x and a negative times a negative is a plus and there's our 7. Now notice the 7's have opposite signs so they add out. The 3 x's have opposite signs they add out and we're left with 3h over h. This is a product and we're dividing by h, so the h's divide out. And now this equals 3 and we are done with a. Now we'll evaluate b. And the function is f of x equals x squared plus x minus 1. Next step, we have to construct the identity for uh, f of x plus h. So to start off with, we'll leave the region in the parentheses blank and we'll replace every variable in the function with parentheses and this is supposed to be squared. Now as we do with functions whatever we write in this set of parentheses we install in every set of parentheses. So if we have an x plus h here we'll have an x plus h here and another x plus h. Now let's expand this. So by the FOIL method, if we square this expression, we'll get x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. Multiplying through by a positive 1, we get plus x plus h, 
and here's our minus 1. And that is f of x plus h. Now, f of x plus h minus f of x all over h equals, there's our denominator h. Now, in place of f of x plus h, we will install its identity, and that's x squared plus 2xh plus h squared plus x plus h minus 1 minus, and that minus corresponds to this minus, separating the two functions, parentheses, and we'll install f of x in this set of parentheses in the form of its identity, x squared plus x minus 1. These parentheses are terribly important. They remind us we have to distribute that negative to each term in the set of parentheses. So we'll do that and we get x squared plus 2xh plus h squared plus x plus h minus 1 minus x squared minus x minus times a minus is a plus 1. Now notice the x squareds have opposite signs so they add out. The x's have opposite signs they add out as do the 1's and they add out. So now we have 2xh plus h squared plus h all over h. And we can factor an h out of each term and we have h times the expression 2x plus h plus 1 all over h. This is a product. And so the h's divide out and we're left with 2x plus h plus 1 and we are done.